okay this is the first question i'm going to talk the first question like uh, this is the like a uh, table so employee details i got employee id the name manager id and date of joining and they got employee id project and salary so they are asking the questions related to sql queries they are mainly focusing on sql queries okay so for that i given an example i'm trying to manipulate with the queries okay so i got two tables uh, the one table is like employee details and you may ask me sir whether the same table they're going to ask it no so to explain the queries i am using a sample table is mine okay so i got employee details table over there i got uh, these columns and followed by the employee salary so 121 venkat is earning venkat is earning 8000 rupees as a salary and this guy arun is earning 10000 as a salary and this guy is earning 1000 to 12000 as a salary okay so these are the two tables and it is linked they called us primary key and they call it as foreign key and the relationship is called relational database management system let's move on okay so this is the first query write a sql query to first count of employees working in project p1 so count of employees is like this guy p1 and p1 so answer should be 2 okay for that i need to write a query so this is the query i'm trying to write it so select select count of aggregation okay aggregation is used to fetch the data so select count of star from employee salary table where project is equal to p1 you should have a single quotes here okay this is the one this is first first type of query you can write or else you can have select count of instead of star you can have this salary itself here column select count of salary from employee salary table where project is equal to p1 since it's a varchar it's a varchar you need to put it in a single quotes so this is a query which will give the count of the project p1 how many employees are working in project p1 let's move on to the next problem so here write a sql query to fetch employee names having salary greater than or equal to 5000 and less than or equal to 10000 so to fetch employee names having salary of a salary salary greater than or equal to 5000 and salary less than or equal to 10,000 okay so this is the one okay so we can have a where condition like this where salary is greater than or equal to 5,000 and salary less than or equal to 10,000 so this is the one I can have it okay I can have it this is one of the query I can write or we can we can write like this so this is a concept I need to do this is the condition I need to satisfy now I got two tables they are expecting salary from that column and the name from this table so you need a join kind of so we can have a join over here to select full name from employee details where employee id in so they put like this yeah this is also a good one they made it so this is the query i'm going to write it and i'm going to show a very different query also using joins okay so now i'm going to show it so they what i've done it is like um, select employee id select employee id from employee salary where the salary is between between 5000 and 10000 okay so i got this query they called it as a sub query sub query is the sense a query which will have a bracket and it it's this guy will return some data which i'm going to use it in this guy so that's they call it a sub query so between 5000 and 10000 is like 121 and 421 this this sub query will return three so 121 and and 421 okay select a full name full name from employee table employee details table where employee id in this is a 121 and 421 so 121 421 i'll get the data as venkat prabhu and krishi venkat 
okay this is a query this is one way of writing the query let's move on to the next way of writing the same query okay so the previous one the previous one okay so we'll move on to the next way of writing the query no no, no the next one next one i'll tell you Paul. okay so the next way of writing the query is like using a join okay before going to the join let's move on like uh, is there any other possibility of writing this query okay select select employee id from employee salary employee id from employee salary where salary salary is less than or equal to the greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 5000 and salary less than or equal to so less than or equal to 10000 10000 less than or equal to 10000 so this is the sub query so instead of uh, this two lines i have written like this instead of using between operator i have used this concept the greater than logical operator okay now so the same line i should write here select full name from employee details table where employee id in this query this is an alternative way of writing getting the same output as given here okay this is another way of query you can make and note it down so this is the second way of writing let's move on to talk about the third way of writing using join operators this is really important and it's an efficient one for an rdbms let's move on to rdbms okay so the third way of writing the same for this question the third way of writing is like uh, so we need to join select i will have a dot full name from employee details as a or you can have it is a they call it as alias this table can be called as this one okay inner join employee salary as b okay on a dot employee id is equal to b dot employee id a dot employee id is equal to b dot employee id i'm mapping hi so here is the one we are trying to use the inner join here over here you are able to see i got a dot full name from uh, the employee details sorry employee details as a this table i made as a and this table i made as b okay so a inner join the salary is b on a dot employee id join so is equal to b dot employee id so i got this query okay we need to add the condition where salary is in b right b dot salary okay b dot salary is less than or equal to 10000 and salary greater than or equal to 5000 okay this is the third way of writing the query the fourth way is like instead of this one we can have where b dot salary between 5000 and 10000 this is another way of writing the query okay so this is how for the single question i got four different answers let's move on to the next question okay write yeah sql query to fetch project wise count of employees sorted by project count in descending order okay so this is the one they gave so if it is a sorting if the keyword sorting automatically what we have to do is like you should use order by so projects count in descending order so you have to use descending keyword project wise count obviously we need group by okay this is how you need to find it so you need order by group by and descending so everything in a single uh, query okay write a sql query to fetch project wise count of employees sorted by projects count in descending order 
so p1 p2 p2 is there so i want this is the query so project wise count of employees so p1 the number of employees is 2 for p2 the number of employees is 1 and uh, it should be in descending order okay this is the descending order so this is the output i'm expecting i'm expecting okay for the this is the output so p1 2 p2 1 so p1 p1 is 2 and p1 is p, p1 is 2 and p2 is 1 so this is the query i need to write okay so obviously select project name or project project comma project comma count of project okay select project and count of project we can have or count of employee also we can give both the things are same you can have count of project or count of employee id and uh, for that i am giving a column emp project column if you want you can give you can leave it no i don't want or you can have the name okay so this is employee over here i am getting the output as employee project count and project this is the column name so this is the column name of the output okay from the table salary group by i'm grouping it group by project and order by employee project count descending so i'm getting the descending of employee project count so this is how you have to write the query let's move on okay so here is the query like i write your query to fetch only the first name the string between spaces from the full name column of employee details table over here i got the space here the space here okay so in that case you have to replace it write a query to fetch only the first name from the full name column of employee details table okay so this is the one i'm trying to find it so they are asking over here venkat so if it is venkat space prabhu this is the first name and this is the last name i want this one krishu okay this is the one i'm expecting okay so for that i need to write the query i need the output as venkat arun krishu so write a query to fetch only the first name the string before the space from the full name column of employee details table in my sql we will be using this command mid of full name comma zero comma locate off so this is the query you'll be using it in sql server you got substring so substring of a full name comma zero comma care index so this this care index what it will do is like it will search for this space it will search for this space i'm trying to create here so venkat venkat prabhu so this one will search for this space substring of full name comma zero what is the starting how much length i want considering so one two three so considering i got uh, one two three four five six okay over here it's six okay from start from here up to the length of six fetch the output so you got venkat so this is the query you have to write select substring of full name comma care index you can put it so this is the query you'll be rising it writing it let's move on to the next question so write a query to fetch out the first name string before the same thing can, do you have any other option you can have left also instead of using substring so i'll have venkat prabhu the same thing venkat prabhu i want this data find the space and left okay so this care index will this care index will find the space okay left of full name comma left off so this is a left you'll be getting this one if it is right you'll be getting this one so that's the one so this is how you'll be writing the query let's move on to the next question okay 
So write a query to fetch employee names, write a query to fetch employee names and salary records and salary records written employee details even if the salary record is not present for the employee considering I don't have any employees. So considering I don't have any salary record for an employee for example 5, 2, 1 I got the person as Praveen. Okay, and I got the manager ID as 121 and he is having a date of birth of 1, 1, 2018. Okay, so for Praveen, we don't have any record here. I don't have any record over there. In that case, the question is like, uh, take all the employees and get the salary and if the salary is not there also, show the employee. In that case, you will be having the concept of left outer join left outer join will give all the all the data from the left table and selected selected data selected data selected data from the right table okay so this is how i'm going to write the query okay so i need to join two tables right employee details as a left outer join employee salary as b on a dot employee id is equal to b dot employee id okay now what is the one i want select select a dot full name full name comma b dot salary from that's it. So select a dot full name, take a dot full name and b dot salary from employee details table A, left outer join employee salary B. Okay, on a dot employee ID is equal to b dot employee ID. So I join these two tables. Okay, this is how you should write the query for this particular question. Let's move on to the next question. So here is a question. So write a SQL query to fetch all the employees who are all also managers from employee details table. This is going to the real toughest one. So things like um, considering over here, I don't have anything like that. Okay, considering instead of uh, this one, I got one to one. Okay, one to one. So one to one is Venkat. So Arun's manager. So Arun's employee ID is three to one. Arun's manager is Venkat. So is manage this, this guy write a SQL query to fetch all the employees okay who are also managers from employees details table so I want 121 who is also a manager of like a manager in that case I need to join the same table once again okay so employee details a inner join employee details B the same table I need to join on joining where a dot employee ID is equal to b dot manager ID b dot manager ID so I need to fetch the what is it right is equal to fetch all the employees select a dot star from that's it this is the question or you can have a uh, e dot full name or a uh, full name or something like that I don't have full name I need the name select a dot full name from employee details a inner join employee details b on on okay you can have on itself on a dot employee id is equal to b dot manager id the same table i'm going to trying to join it to get all the employees who is a manager okay so this is the query we need to write let's move on to the next question the next question is write a SQL query to fetch all employee records from employee details table who have a salary record in employee salary table. So I need to find so who all got the salary. Okay, so both the people are getting salary. So we need to fetch the data one to one, three to one considering I got 421, which is Praveen. Okay, so 121, 1 slash 1 plus 2018. So this is another employee. So so 121, you got salary. 321 you got salary 421 you got salary 
521 no salary so i want these three datas here these three datas i want write a sql query to fetch all employee records from employee details table who have your salary record in employee salary table so obviously we need to join it okay so employee details as a inner join employee salary as b on a dot employee id is equal to b dot employee id i want all the employee records so select star from put it you'll get all it so select star from employee details a in a join employee salary b on a dot employee id is equal to b dot employee id you'll get it so this is a very simple query i'm trying to write it let's move on to the next question okay what is the question write a sql query to fetch duplicate records from your table this is the real important uh, questions they used to ask in the interview so not only for this particular company or something like that this is a usual question they will ask in the interview from now the questions which i'm going to discuss is like it's asked in many companies not only a specific company so this is really important just not it on i got a lot of duplicate records considering i got another employee 121 with Venkat Prabhu and you got 321 and date of joining is this one. So this one 121 and 121 is duplicate. I need to find who are all having a duplicate records. Write here a SQL query to fetch duplicate records from your table. Okay. So I'm trying to take uh, this one. Considering I got 121 here, P1 here, 8000 here. For this table, I'm trying to write a query. So considering so in this this is the biggest problem we are facing because 121 venkat is having 8000 here 121 venkat is 8000 so there is a duplicate of records i need to find it obviously using count we are able to find it okay so we are using the count so i'm trying to group it so group it and count it you'll be getting it so i'm trying to group it like a select employee id project salary and count i'm taking it from employee salary I'm trying to group it. So while grouping it, I'll be getting so this query. This query will return 121 P1 8002 321. It's a count. This is the count. P2 1001 421 P1 12001. This is the query I've got. This is a this is the output I got once if you are executing. Now I'm trying to put a having having count of star is greater than one. So this is the record. So we are able to find the duplicate 121 P1 8000 and the record is two. So this is how you'll be getting the duplicate records from your table. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, what is the question? So the question is, the question is, write a SQL query to remove the duplicates from a table without using temporary table. So uh, considering uh, this is another question they may ask, do you have any other option to remove the duplicates from your table without a temporary table, uh, without using a temporary table? So I'm trying to use it like, uh, so previous record we got uh, the select employee ID from employee salary group by project salary and account of star okay i got the data okay so i'm trying to delete it from the salary table obviously so what i'm trying to do is like so we are trying to delete the entire data itself so i got 121 so i got 121 here right 121 p1 and 8000 okay i want to remove the duplicate record in that case so this is this this query will delete the entire thing try to understand this query will delete the entire data so P1, 8002, count is 2, and 321, P2, 10,000, and uh, it's 1. 421, P1, it's a 12,000, so 10,000, 12,000, it's 1. So delete from the employee salary where employee ID in will remove this data, this particular data. So I want to remove the duplicates, okay? So on the other end, the actual query which we have to use it is this one. It's used in Oracle. So delete from the table where row ID not in select a max of row ID from employee salary group by which will delete this particular record. 
Okay, this is the query which you will be using it in Oracle. Let's move on to the next question. Over here, write a SQL query to fetch only odd rows from the table. This is going to be a real interesting one. So, the interesting area is like, uh, I want the odd record. Odd record in the sense, one I want, two I don't want, three I want. Odd numbers of records, I need to fetch it. So, how, like, how we can manipulate it? So, I'm using the concept of a row underscore number. Okay. So, I'm using 121. That is a column I made it. That is row number. That is 1. 321, the row number is 2. 421, the row number is 3. And uh, take this one, take this one. Where row number, where row number, where row number, percentage of 2 is equal to 1. Okay. We shall give, we shall give the, this one, the odd numbers. So, that is the logic I am trying to use it. Over here, you are able to see, what I am trying to do is like, select, star, take everything, star, comma, row number this is the syntax row number over order by employee id so it will give 121 your row number this column will give 1 321 2 421 3 this particular line will give this one and the column name is row number row number okay now i got this data okay and afterwards i'm trying to fetch if the row number percentage of 2 is equal to 1, yes, this will satisfy. Percentage of 2 is equal to 1, this will satisfy. Percentage of 2 is equal to 1, this won't get satisfied. The answer is 121 and 421. So, this output will, this query will give the odd number of data, the odd the rows of particular table. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, Write a SQL query to fetch only even rows. Obviously, we have to change the previous one. Percentage of 2 is equal to 0. Okay, but it's very simple. It's a direct question. Let's move on to the next question. Write here SQL query to create a new table where data and structure copied from another table. So, this, for this, we have to use the concept of into. Okay, I got a table VP. I got a table of a VP1 needs to be created. Select select star into vp1 the new table the new table from vp the old table automatically the data will be moved okay so this is a new table and so considering vp is a table which got one and Venkat is the data the same thing i want to copy it in this vp1 table or vp1 table one Venkat. I don't want to create a table. I don't want to use create statement. I don't want to insert statement directly. I want to create it and fetch it and insert it directly. For that, this is a shortcut. Select star into new table from the old table. This is the old table. Okay, this is how they'll be doing it. We'll move to the next question. Write a SQL query to create an empty table with the same structure as some table. So I got VP as a table with a id and a name as column 1 and venkat is the data i got i need an another table vp1 okay i want id and name i don't want any data only the structure needs to be copied and i don't want the data how we can do it so the same query select star into the new table vp1 okay from the old table vp where 1 equal to 0. So, if this condition where is not satisfied, the data, the structure will be created, the structure will be created, the data is not moved. The structure will be created, the data won't move. Okay, where 1 equal to 0, this condition is not satisfied. If it is 1 equal to 1, where 1 equal to 1, the data will be copied. If the condition is not satisfied, the data won't get copied, the structure is created. Okay, this is how, this is a simple logic they are using it in creating the structure without the data. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, write a SQL query to create an empty table with the same structure as some other table. Okay, this is another one. In my SQL, they are using the like statement. Okay, create table, the new table like this one. 
So this will create the structure of the existing table in MySQL. They are using the operator like. Okay, let's move to the next question. Okay, so I want to face the common records between the two table considering I got 121 Venkat and 232 230 Arun and I got 121 Venkat. Okay, this is table A and table B. So in that case, select star from A intersect intersect select star from b which will give this particular record the common records i want to take it in that case you'll be using intersect as an option let's move to the next question okay write a query to fetch records that are present in one table but not in another table in that case we need so it's available in one table but not in another table if i'm looking for 230 and arun in that case i need to use minus here Okay, select star from A minus select star from B. In that case, I'll get only, I don't want any common record. I want the record which is not available. We get, which in, sorry, using minus as a keyword. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, so I take a SQL query to find the current date and time. So in my SQL, you'll be using selection now, will give you the current date and time. Select get date will be used in SQL server select a sys date from dual this is the query you'll be using in oracle to fetch the current date and time okay let's move on to the next question okay so this is the one uh, it's based on date okay so the query is like write a sql query to fetch all the employees all the employees from the employee details table who joined in year 2016 so in that case i need to find between january 1 2016 to december 31 2016 so this is the query you are using the between operator for okay so select stuff select stuff from table where date of joining between this date and this date okay this date and this date okay i don't want this one this one okay directly we can give between the date of joining between this date and the other date you can give it directly or else you can have select stuff from employee details where year so i'll be taking this year for this query for this query you'll be getting the answer as four two one that's the answer okay so where year where year date of joining is equal to 2061 so that's the query i'm using it let's move on to the next question the question is i want to fetch the top n records in that case we got a different syntax in different databases. So in is my SQL, you got the command of a limit. Okay. So select star from table order by salary. Oh, I don't want that one. Okay. So select star from table descending limit. I want a 10 record 10. So in my SQL, select star from table descending uh, I don't want. limit 10 this will give the top 10 records from the output if I'm looking for SQL SQL server select top 10 star from table this is the query you'll be using in SQL server but over here in Oracle we need some more complexity I need to fetch a select star from table order by salary and afterwards we have to use row number where row number less than or equal to 10 so this is the row number is a keyword they'll be using over here this one is a top is a keyword they'll be using over here limit is the word they'll be using it this is how you are able to fetch a particular top records from a table let's move on to the next question okay so write a SQL query to find the nth highest salary from table. Okay, this is one different question. So in that case, this is the command. Select, select. I'm trying to fetch. So top salary, I'm trying to fetch it. So what I'm trying to do is like, I'm trying to order by that one. Order by, order by salary. I'll be getting 421, 321, 121. First, I need to order the data in the descending order and afterwards fetch the first one. 
fetch the first one you are able to see it here for ordering i'm using this sub query select top in salary from table order by salary descending order by salary descending i made it and afterwards select top one salary from this particular table i don't want this order by and all i don't want this order by and all okay the query is very different you don't want to have this order by in the bottom because we are going to fetch only one thing so this is the query this query will return only one record the topmost salary guy okay so once i am repeating this table is there i need to order by descending i have to make it out and afterwards fetch the top one okay fetch the top one salary okay this will give it let's move on to the next question okay write a sql query to find the nth highest salary from the table so we can use the limit record limit class in my sql so this is the query select salary from the table order by salary descending so i'll be getting 421 121 sorry 321 and 121 and afterwards i'll limit n minus 1 comma 1 obviously i'll be getting this record okay i'm trying to take the one record okay this is how we are able to make it out let's move to the next question so n minus 1 so n minus 1 so just move it for previous one for Paul, please uh, look into it here. Okay. Okay. So considering I want the tenth salary, so limit limit ten comma one. I want the tenth salary, like a tenth person, and I want only one record. So limit n minus one comma one will provide you this one. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. Write SQL salary. Sorry. Uh, SQL query to find the third highest salary from the table without using a top or limit keyword. This is going to be real interesting. So we need to find this is a query. So this is a bit complex. Just check it out. This is another way of writing the query. Just note it down. Okay. What I'm trying to do is like select a count of a distinct employee to salary. I'm getting over here. I got this employee one and employee two. This is a bit complex query. We need to write it. You got the same table the same table i need to join it so employee one and employee two these are two tables the same table with a different name i gave and i'm trying to select count of distinct employee two salary from employee salary emp2 so emp2 salary is greater than emp1 salary so this is kind of a complex query we need to write it down to fetch the data